Georgetown Harbour. There's a schooner there. So tonight we're here to celebrate our maritime heritage uh, through fine art. And we've brought together eight different artists, well known in Cayman, people like Miguel Powery, Randy Shillette, Gordon Solomon, Guy Harvey, Christelle Ibsen, John Broad, and Conroy Ebanks, Cayman Brack. We're also delighted to be working this evening with the Seafarers Association, the Catboat Club, SENA, and the National Museum to really bring together this huge education program that's actually going to run for three months anchored on the fine art that you're witnessing here this evening. Like a dragonfly. Laughing at the sky. Maritime heritage is, is uh, one of our major aspects of, of, of our heritage of overall. Our, you know, we are, our heritage is inextricably linked to the sea. Um, we all, everything that we, that we import comes through, comes in through the sea or over the sea. We've sailed the sea. That some of our, our, our sailors have been the foremost sailors in the world over, over, over the years. And so to see it brought to life like this in the various medium, whether it's in a piece of artwork or, or the, or the, um, or the models that we see here in, in the, in the, in the, um, the gallery this evening, is very, it's amazing. And I see some of the old sailors here as well, mixed with the artists. So it's quite a, it's quite a you know, cultural infusion. Um, and, you know, to see, and to see the artistic renderings, it's quite amazing this evening. As part of Butterfield's commitment to the community in the Cayman Islands, uh, we believe this, um, this particular exhibition is very important um, for the country, just, not just in terms of art, but also in terms of the education. Uh, it tells the story of our maritime um, heritage, and Butterfield itself can actually uh, sort of rely on that or, or relate to that. Um, in that it also has its own maritime uh, heritage that back in the late 19th century, Nathaniel Butterfield um, you know, started up a mercantile uh, company in Bermuda and they traded over the waters, over the seas. And uh, in fact, one of the first things that they started trading was cedar planks. And of course, cedar planks was very important to the seafarers in their shipbuilding. So it, we sort of had a parallel with the maritime heritage and just the own history of the company. But also, you know, we've been in Cayman for the last 45 years, and we think it's very important to be able to pass this tradition on to our younger generation. So we've looked at it as an opportunity to support both the arts and education within the community. I am very pleased with the result, and um, I, I am. I am so pleased with the results that I, you know, because we got some exposure. We have our ship, our our, our, our model ship down there, and all the the, the seamen. My seamen has, has come this afternoon to 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 look at the our our, ex, our, our um, exhibit, you know. Yeah, and we're 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 planning on doing another exhibit next year with Natalie. I, I came from a generation of shipbuilders also. Um, my, my people's and my mother's side uh, in Cayman Brack, because my mother's from Cayman Brack. So I had some of my forefathers were either working on the tankers or they were building ships. So it, it was only natural for me to uh, look back in my past and um, give the, the, the heritage that I had learned. It was very natural. When she come running down to Grand Cayman, running down to Grand Cayman, running down to Grand Cayman.